This is some freaking game, All of man. His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. These mugs change at all? Probably not. So there's another blue door ending. I guess if I go through the blue door and then through the red door, maybe? I also just realized you can't see out of any of the windows. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love what? a room? I mean, truly, this changed. truly, deeply, madly, love. Okay. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on hey, that one I've seen. and reflected, but at last he'd had enough of Maybe the there were just a couple room. that switched. Took the first open door on his left to get <clears> back to business. It's been different every time? I don't think so. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have Sorry. zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley <clears throat> walked through the red door. I like that there's the hand truck that's red, and then on this side there's the paint that's blue that matched Aha, by the door. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. So this branches twice before it gets to the final part. It gives me one more chance to walk through the other side. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Okay, Stanley now I'll go through the red door. The... Oh, thank God, you are willing oh, to... Oh, no, it loops. Me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two okay, so I've got to go to through get... the door three times, I guess. The only other ending down this path is the four-hour baby game. No, that's fine. I don't mind that spoiler in that particular instance. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? You can confirm if that's true. The if there's another Perhaps ending down that way, though, let me know right now. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. No other ending. This okay. Was not the correct way to the meeting room. Well, I've got and two Stanley other places I know to go this well. way. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps yeah, too that majestic. is different. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof... <sighs> That he was human. Jesus. <laughs> Is that all I get each time? Yes. Really, really worth it being here okay. in the room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. One day I'll go down that door. Way. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible. Oh, this open? I don't know. I want to go this way or like get down to the floor somehow. Well, maybe that happens if I go through the other door. I don't know. 
So we're done Look jumping standing. off. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be Lounge room but rule the fact 34. Is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Can you imagine if they just made, like, about. monthly updates to this and just kept adding Stop new areas to, to find? Every decision by yourself. Now, that could be the coolest shit me. of all time. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to go in here too. yourself. To put your work aside. No, it doesn't go anywhere. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Something very, very oppressive about a perfectly square room made of bricks with one light, one table, and a phone ringing. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. There's Not doors that randomly the open at the beginning? somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an thort? excuse why you cannot continue talking. Chat, what's Turn a thort? partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> oh, the old back sack and crack. Is this a Jeopardy question now? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful oh, and massive. whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Good night, Zen. Don't worry. 
Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. I'm gonna unplug the phone again. Okay. Where are we going? Yeah. Back over here. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform uh, and smart. dying. Imagine that would have been a branching path. Dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Thought maybe I could get back on again. That would mess him up. Rarely do they tell me to go backward. It's so handy how all these things have doors that can just be locked at any given point. Trying to do your Almost job for you. There. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I'm going to be really excited when one of these doors opens. I'm also going to be opening them every single chance I get now. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. I love this part. Yeah, this is the one ending that I have done, or had done. I did this for the Indie Impressions video that I did ages ago for this. And uh, honestly, I didn't necessarily get a great uh, representation of the rest of the game from that one ending. Because this is probably, well, it's, it's a good ending, but it's probably not my favorite. I'm just going to keep going in this door. No. Nope. Alright, I guess I've got to go the other way then. Oh no! Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it... Well, it's worthless now! And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's this is going to be our raid do, message do, later. Do, do Grr every week. Remember this. I have to. I have to. Grr every week. Portal 3? Is this Portal 3? With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. I was clever. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing I in remember the world this. that was mine, and you run it into the ground. This is the what, broken door from Left 4 Dead. You just had to see. Classic source Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do <laughs> something, <laughs> there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? 
that there's a world outside of you, you're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open Three doors, guesses which way I'm he going. entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry... <laughs> ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing <laughs> responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hey! I was trying to get in there faster. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Oh, is this looping Hurry. forever? I thought that this was actually the way He's you do it. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always. I don't think it would require me to do it first. four or five I'm times. Quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Is ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You never specified which left. You're right, now all of a sudden... This is the door on the left. Look, I'm playing along. No! No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly! <hurry>. No! <laughs> ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. No! Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. For real, should I go through the door on the left at this point? I thought that something happened if you went through the door on the right enough times, but I'm thinking that I was wrong about that. <laughs> no! <laughs> I love this voice actor, he's so good. Yes, okay, our time in the sun is over. No! Stay strong. <laughs> I think you have to. I think you have to as well. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no! They, they're on to me. How come it's not boarded up anymore? Coming to a staircase. Oh, this is not an option either. To his boss's office. This is actually really interesting, being able to see the ways that they get you off, because it's telling you you're still on the right track when they're trying to fool you.
Oh, this is different than this looked before. Okay. Two phones, really? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Isn't that an Shot Evergreen Terrace unraveled. album cover? Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. I am the most expensive and boss. Probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Oh, Night Shark. Night Shark 115. 115. Was this the code to open the door? Oh, Jesus. Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. How does one... Oh, okay, I was going to say, how does one type Night Shark <laughs> in numbers? This is also an option for a raid message later. <clears throat> I am Stanley the most expensive spoke boss. The code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. All right, let's give it a try. <clears throat> Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the I code into did. the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley oh, shows. Text for his is broken choices. back there. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could I have did. done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he oh, opened shit. the door on his left. <laughs> Go right. Go right, man. Stanley? Hello? That's what Stanley Hello? looks like. Is everything okay? He looks like the Stanley, please. The guy from Big Bang Theory crossed with uh, Ben Stiller. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is Rick. everything all right? <laughs> Stanley, this is important. A story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Pen bang theory. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. <laughs> bang Stiller. <laughs> I've got to remember Bang Stiller. That one's really good. Are you there? Feel free to spam my chat with Bang Stiller at any point you like. Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. <laughs> wow, that was weird. I liked it. 